Morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, friends. This is Kevin Lopez again, bringing to you poem from 12th class book, Flamingo. The poem is a thing of beauty. It's a poem written by John Keats, a romantic English poet, who developed a habit of offering sonnets and poems that related to the human life in the context of the realism that it lived in. It is based on a plot where a Greek legend comes into existence. That is Endymion, who was a poet and a shepherd who lived on Mount Latmus, goes ahead in search of Cynthia, the moon goddess. The lines of the poem, the stanzas, are beautifully enriched with a rhyme that depicts the reality of the human life and also gives us a chance to understand the poem better. The lines goes as, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. Its loveliness increase, it will never pass into nothingness but will keep a boa quiet for us and sleep full of sweet dreams and health and quite brilliant. It is said, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. Remember about a face of a child smiling at you, a beautiful person you love looking at you and suddenly your day is made. You think about the beauty, you encompass it in your eyes and the whole day is made as if informed, pass into nothingness but it will be keep. A beautiful face, a beautiful thought, a beautiful mind can never be forgotten, my friends. It shall always be there, imprinted in your minds, in your thoughts, and it shall give you a notion of eternity. You can never forget, you can never forget a beautiful thing happening with you. Beautiful memories keep on reciting for so long that you simply don't forget such things. It's like a beautiful sleep and a lovely dream that you're experiencing and thinking of during that sleep. The next stanza is, therefore, on every morrow are we wreathing a flowery band to bind us to earth. To every morrow, like the, every day that comes, we are humans, the mode of beauty, the relish of beautiful things we with every day are passing by our mortal bodies are going to be diminished a day or two sometime ahead yet we are all bound as flowers in a wreath that is the flowers of relationship the bondness the joys the passion that we share many things to come Spite of despondence of the human dearth, of noble nature of gloomy days, of all the unhealthy and over darkened ways made for our searching, yes, in spite of all. In spite of all the bad things, all the thoughts, all the momentums that humans forget to lead us, beauty is something that is gifted to humanity. We as humans relish beautiful things, the nature around us, the sun, the moon, the flowers, the stars, the night, the daylight. It is relished by us. So it is us, the humans, who have been given the joy to enjoy the beauty. That is we who go ahead and relish it. No other species in the world enjoys the beautiful view or a scenery or a person as we humans do. Made of our searching, yes, in spite of all, some shape of beauty moves away in the pal from our dark spirits. It is said that a human mind is confronted with thoughts. It is confronted with dearth, unhealthiness. Yet, it is said, a beautiful, a beautiful face, for instance, getting up in the morning, looking at the face of a beautiful baby smiling at you, and everything just passes by. You just simply forget the pain, 
the hurt the bad intentions the feelings it all vanishes thus the poet here informs that beauty has got a power to eradicate all the bad thoughts in a human mind a beautiful scenery the flowing water the beautiful flowers the crystalline roses the lilies everything bring joy to us they give us a notion of care and appreciation of the nature's beauty around us as well such the sun the moon trees old and young sprouting a shady boon for simple sheep are such a daffodils with the green world they live in and clear rills as i said the beautiful flowers the sun the nature around us they go ahead and give us a sign a relief the beauty of the nature is the biggest reliever it provides us with immense beautiful thoughts it takes out the dirt that we as humans experience no matter how big the king shall be no matter how big people can be yet a beautiful view pulls them towards the same innocence that we once had gains the hot season the mid forest break rich with sparkling of fair musk rose blooms and such too in the grandeur of dooms we have imagined for the mighty dead as on a sunny day the forest heats yet the flower beds give out a soothing effect imagine the sun coming through the trees falling on the flowery bed in the forest and the beauty that is emancipated by us even the mighty kings they may be rich and mighty and valorous a beautiful thing would last forever an endless fountain of immortal drink pouring us into from heaven's brink poet here says that the earth that has been given to us the sun the moon the stars the flowers whatever has been given to us is like an immortal fountain a fountain that remains there forever a fountain that gives us a joy a fountain that gives us a bliss it's a gift from heavens above that has been given to us the nature earth so as to go ahead and enjoy the beauty that is what the poet explains he starts with a baby face a lover's joy sorrow in the life pains the department of flowers everything yet he says that it's the nature that is the gift of the heavens above that has been poured on us so as to make us the to make us feel the joy and the beauty around us my friends this poem is not actually a sonnet but it's a real romantic work of john keats he connects us with the nature takes the help of a child a lover's face a beautiful face encompasses it with the nature and thus gives us a notion of perfect bliss let's have a look at a few question and answers that i have checked out over here for you now the first question is what can a beautiful thing do for you friends speaking about that a beautiful thing a beautiful face a thought anything can take away the pains again imagine something that seems beautiful to you a sight imagine at it looking at it again and again you know it gives you a bliss 
it gives you peace of mind it gives you a calm heart that's what a beautiful thing can do to you what is being said to be a joy forever a beautiful thing a thing of beauty is being said to be joy forever how does a thing of beauty keep a bower quiet for us our heart our minds they are at a constant vigil a constant cycle of thoughts going through emancipating things calculating analyzing yet a beautiful sight a beautiful face a beautiful thing pauses everything it gets us connected to it instantly thus stopping of the rummaging thoughts sorrows anger agony anxiety it stops us it simply stops explain it will never pass on to nothingness a beautiful thing is a perennial thing a perennial thing is like it would be remaining forever take a snapshot of a beautiful face it shall be kept forever it has imprinted forever my friends a smiling face of a baby looking at you with a feeling of nothingness and pure bliss would be a thought cherished by you forever now who are the mighty dead the mighty dead are the people who spent their life for the wellness of the mankind for the betterment of society the people who are noble kings yet they passed away so that's how they are remembered as the mighty dead how is the grandeur associated with the mighty dead well the mighty dead are honored adored by the people they were worshiped by they were revered by people because of their deeds their works their achievements and many more things now that they are lying buried in their graves it is their grandeur that is still remembered god will also re reward them for the beautiful deeds so the grandeur is associated with the mighty dead what lovely tales does the poet talk of well the poet speaks about the lovely old days and lovely stories and the great myths that were involved here what does the poet call an endless fountain of immortal drinks an endless fountain of immortal drink the poet depicts the sun the moon the things around us he depicts such things as immortal things that is the nature the beautiful things around us what image does the poet draw in the last two lines the poet says that a beautiful thing is clearly an immortal drink it's like a fountain that would never end and keep on giving peace serenity to us these were a few important questions that usually we end up giving up in examinations this was a brief my friends we from personal tutor are giving out constant briefs on ncert syllabus starting right from the 6th standard till the 12th my friends if you have any comments or questions do comment below we have been receiving responses from you thank you very much from that for that if you want to know something about us just press the button about us do subscribe our channel as well as we are achieving a good number of subscribers for any more information do contact us thanking you again this is kevin lopez my friends